Alright, so today we're going to start with cleaning up all these stickers and actually giving it its first bath in 5-6 years. Hoping the pressure washer takes a lot of these out. These weren't clear coated, so it shouldn't be difficult. Um, I've already started degreasing the wheels. Those are going to clean up really nice. They already look good now just with the degreaser ran over them. Um, yeah, get the dirt off and see how bad the paint actually is. Throw some more degreaser on there, get on a time lapse, and see what we got when we're all dried up. Like most of the stickers came off of the pressure washer Just soaking it again with the degreaser gonna hit it again after we get the rest of the dirty car wash down some old man Jenkins showed up again <laughs> mojo over there what, what no, no, yeah. <laughs> uh, the hookahs in the bag right there I just haven't set it up all right let's throw it on another time lapse and get the rest of it washed down So we're gonna wrap this one up now. It's been a couple days, it's been raining nonstop. We did get the outside of the car cleaned up a little bit. Well, it looks much better than what it was before. I actually lost a lot of footage. I don't know how, the camera just wasn't recording at the time. And we'll just go over what's done now. So it'll be a super short episode and then the fourth one will be on the interior. So let's take a look at how the outside came out. So, ended up realigning the headlights so the front looks a lot better got a new replacement grill because the other one was cracked a lot of the dirt and stuff came out and the car starting to look a little bit better but we'll have some more stuff going on i think in the next video we should be getting a new bumper still looking for a green hood and trunk but it's hard to find the proper color body panels when you're actually looking for them versus before I got the car. A lot of the stickers came off in the engine bay too. Let's take a look. It's just a rough patch, uh, rough pass going through because when we pull the B20 out to replace it with the F20B, we'll go over it again and really take our time with the engine bay. Got a lot of the stuff, a lot of the stickers out and actually not that bad underneath i was expecting a lot more rust and rot and soft spots but everything is all surface we'll take care of that as well and that should do it for this episode and yeah so there's the front realigned a little better that'll look a lot nicer when i get the other bumper that hasn't been stretched out and zip tied in awkward angles probably close up the gap around the hood and grill a little bit better too but that's it for this episode.